Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today I'm taking a slight departure from my normal home inspection discussions, and I'm sharing with you my top five tech tips. <music> Tip number one. You know how sometimes people will send you a PDF document and they'll say, hey, can you sign this and send it back to me? And then so often people will take that document, they'll print it, they will manually sign it, they will scan it or take a picture of it, and then they'll email it back. You're going way out of your way to get this done. There's a way easier way to do it. All you need to do is use Adobe Acrobat DC. It's a free viewer, it's available from Adobe Acrobat, and it has signing capabilities built right into the free program. You don't need to print anything out, you just sign it right within the document. It's free, it works with just about any PDF, it is super easy to use, and there's some other cool features in there too, like adding sticky note comments to documents and putting drawings on documents and a bunch of other fun stuff. And I think most people just aren't aware that this exists. So get the program, and one thing that stops a lot of people from doing this too is they try opening up PDF documents within their web browser and Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome kind of like to take over as the PDF viewer and to make sure that that doesn't happen you need to change some settings in your computer and make it so that the default program for viewing these is going to be Adobe Acrobat not your web browser. I hope I didn't lose people getting too techy with some of that talk. I'm not going to show you how to do it all here, but the main point here is you shouldn't have to ever print and sign documents with a little asterisk. Every once in a while, there are going to be some PDFs that are locked down. You can't sign them electronically, but you can sign probably at least 95% of them out there without ever having to print it. Okay, that was tech tip number one. On to tip number two. If you have a Gmail account, you essentially have an infinite number of emails. And there's probably some other providers out there who do the same thing. I use Gmail, I'm only familiar with their system, but the way it works is if, let's say you had signed up for something and you realized, oh, I messed this up, I need to sign up again. This just happened on our website. Somebody was trying to apply to us and they were supposed to take this online quiz and they said, hey, I messed it up and I submitted too early, can I retake it? I wanted to tell them use a new email or a different email, but actually, if you have a Gmail account, you have an infinite number of email addresses. All you need to do is take the portion of your email, let's say my email was ruben at gmail.com. All I need to do is add a plus sign after Ruben, and then I can add anything that I want between the plus sign and the at Gmail, and it creates a unique email address that still comes to my original email address. So let's say I wanted to track everything, every, every vendor that Amazon uses. Like if I go to Amazon and I sign in with my ruben at gmail.com account and I wanna track what Amazon is doing, whose name they give it to, well, I would just create a new email address when I sign up with Amazon. I'd say that my email is ruben plus Amazon at gmail.com. I don't need to do anything special. I just tell Amazon that's my email address and when they send an email to Ruben plus Amazon at gmail.com it comes to my traditional email address and now I can track anybody else who's getting that and you can do this with an infinite number of things for Gmail. So Little tip there if you'd like to set up more tracking for yourself and use many more email addresses. Uh, that's, a, that's a quick and easy way to do it. All right, tech tip number three. This is a charging cable that I think is a game changer. This is a magnetic charging cable. I learned about it th this at a conference. And uh, side note, I do not sell these. <laughs> I'm, I'm not selling the heck out of this because I'm making money off it. I'm just telling you about it because I think it's a super cool product. It's a magnetic charging cable and it works with USB-C, micro USB, and whatever Apple calls their ports. I think it's a lightning port, uh, whatever you use to charge iPhones. It, for every one of the cables you get, you get 
three individual devices. It's this little port, looks like this. Hope you can see that, it's tiny. And you take this port and you plug it into your device and now it converts your charging port into a universal port that you use this cable with. So all I do is I hold it close and it connects and it's reversible. If I hold it the other way, it connects that way. And it's a pretty good connection. I mean, it's magnetic, but if I were to drop this, I'm not gonna destroy my charging port. It actually just comes loose. And so it works both ways. It's also a high speed USB data device. Now there's some charging cable, some magnetic charging cables out there that it's basically just a two pin connector. It's, it's got power connectors and that's all. That's not what this is. This is a full data cable. So you can do everything that any other cable does. And I have replaced all of the cables throughout my house with these things and said, oh, and side note, can you see it's got, it's, it's got a blue indicator at the end? It's lit up. It tells you that there's power here. So genius. So I've gone around and I've replaced all the cables in my house with these. I didn't have to buy a ton. I used to have basically every type of cable in every room of my house for every situation. And my kids would move them around and, you know, I shouldn't say kids, I should say cable gremlins would move them around and I'd end up with no cables in some places and a horde of cables in another area. Now that I've switched over to these more universal cables, they work with all of the devices in our house. Doesn't matter if it's, uh, you know, we got the, the iPhone, I got my Android phone, works with these if I wanna charge my headphones, stick it on there. I mean, it, it's just so easy. You get it close and it's connected. You don't need to fumble around with this stuff anymore and it works with everything. So do yourself a favor and change out all the cables in your house to these. A, at the time I'm recording this video, a four pack of these cables retails for $23.99 on Amazon. I got it at the YKZ store on Amazon. That's where I found these. I'll put a link right here in the video if you're interested. These links change. When someone watches this video a few months from now, it surely won't work. And again, I am not a paid sponsor for anything. I just found this to be a really cool product, so I'm telling you about it. All right, those are charging cables. Next, these last two tech tips are really for parents. If you've got kids of a certain age, I'd say any kid who's able to use an internet connected device where you're concerned about the content that may be coming into their brains, coming into your home, uh, it, it's tough. It, it's tough today. <laughs> How do you help protect their kids and make sure they're not seeing stuff that they shouldn't be seeing? Well, I've found a really good solution. Um, it's not, it's not perfect. It's really good. I actually heard about this from an Uber driver. He was taking me to the airport one day. We got to chit chatting and he shared a fantastic solution. It's something called open DNS family shield, open DNS family shield. And it's where you change a few settings on your router at home. Now, you need to be able to get into your router and change settings, but if you know how to log into your router, they give you really simple instructions on how to do this. You change a few numbers on there, and now all of the content that comes through your Wi-Fi, whether it's to your tablets or phones or computers or whatever, anything under your Wi-Fi is now going to be filtered where you're not going to have adult content coming into your house. Now, don't get me wrong, there's still a ton of stuff, say on YouTube, that I wouldn't want my kids to be watching. So it's not gonna filter everything you don't want your kids to see, but it's gonna filter out the worst of the worst. And this is a set it and forget it solution. You set this up one time and you're done. It's not like you have to go around installing software on every one of your devices and updating it and all that other stuff. You just change your DNS server, you put in a different name server there, and that's it. it. Takes five minutes. So if you got kids, I strongly recommend setting Open DNS Family Shield. And then the last one, it's, it's very closely related. Uh, this is another parenting tip. I'm of the opinion that just about anything done on the internet at my house after I go to bed 
probably isn't good. It's probably stuff I don't want happening. Um, I don't want kids messing around on electronic devices at 1 a.m. Um, it just, <laughs> I want internet off at a certain time. However, I've got a bunch of stuff throughout my house. I've got a bunch of smart devices that are connected to the internet and, and I do want adults to be able to get on the internet past a certain time if we're interested. So all I did was I bought a second router. I've got two routers at my house. One for the parents and any smart devices that are connected and another router for the kids and any of their devices. Any computers that they may access are connected to router number two. And for that router, I've got it plugged into a smart timer. It could, it could be a dumb timer. Really, I could just use a Christmas tree light timer, you know, the old dial type, but I happen to have one of those smart timers. I've got it set up there and the timer turns off at 9 p.m. every night. So after 9 p.m., there's no more internet, no shenanigans. And again, this is one of those very simple solutions. You set it once and it's over with, you're done. So I'm in love with that too. Okay, those are my top five tech tips. I hope somebody got some value out of some of these. If you got any more, uh, leave it down below in the chat. I'd love to hear some of your tips, especially if it comes to parenting. All right, thank you so much for watching. Take care.